Hey everyone, so in this video, it should be pretty quick. We're just gonna talk about a couple ways to edit on the grid and then also layered editing. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so say that we want to take this drum part apart a little bit and recompose or reorder some of these hits a little bit. So a couple cool ways you can do that. Uh, one is we can separate all of these chunks out very easily with an edit command. So I'm gonna select it all, and right now you can see that the drum hits are not all lining up with the grid. So what I'm gonna do is change my grid to better reflect what's there. And there we go. So the grid is now on 16th, and now every drum hit pretty much lines up, right? We can see it lining up really nicely right on the grid for all of these hits. So once we've got a good grid set up that's gonna allow us to make some good edits and things, what we can do is go edit, and then separate clip and then on grid and I click that and it'll ask hey do you think maybe I should separate these just ahead of the grid a little bit just in case some of these hits are early but for the most part these are okay it looks like to me these all kind of fall just behind the grid line not ahead of it so I'm going to leave it alone but you can always put a little bit of extra space just before the grid line when you separate and then hit okay and now I have separate clips for all my drum hits. So now I can get just this, or just this, or just that snare hit. And then I can even put things in shuffle just for fun and start messing around with where they are, right? So I can take that snare hit and put it somewhere else. Maybe I'll take that and duplicate it over here. And in shuffle, everything will just kind of move around for you to do that. Uh, maybe I'll take this one and these are all equal length right now So I'm pretty safe to just drag things around because they're all equal to the grid. Let's see what I got. It's probably terrible That's actually kind of fun those kind of hit on the upbeat that time I think I actually moved my snare drum back to where it was originally Let's just play around a little bit more move things around in shuffle on the grid now that they've been separated. That was just empty space I just moved. Okay, let's see what we got now. So, kind of fun, right? Creative thing that you can do. Now, uh, that is separating on the grid, and I just undid all the way back to where it's a single clip again. Now, the other way to do it is I can get even more accurate. So notice that this first hit, actually lasts all the way it actually probably goes to hear that that uh cymbal sound is actually continuing for a long time so if we want to get a better sense of what that that hit actually feels like for its real duration some of these are longer than just the grid right longer than a 16th note so the other way to do this is to do a similar command edit separate clip but instead of on the grid you go at transients and then you'll still get that pre-separate amount. So you're asking Pro Tools to find all the transients in here, so all those attacks from this drum part, and then possibly put a little extra space at the front, just in case. I'm just gonna leave it off and hit OK. And now I have a little bit more accurate to the actual groove that's happening, right? So I'm getting the actual hits. This one. So you, you, you get different size hits based on where Pro Tools has detected the transients. So that's kind of that. And then you can play around that way too. It's a really quick way to separate out, especially a rhythmic part like a drum part. Much harder with audio that does not have as clear transients as say percussion does but you can try it and see what happens. Try it with a bass line. Try moving the notes of a bass line around after separating it. It's kind of fun. Okay, one other thing. So say that we're editing this drum track and we've got a whole bunch of different takes and I'm just gonna cheat by taking a clip from down here and pasting it up here. So often what you're doing when you're editing is using different takes or different materials and creating a composite uh, track that you know best represents the performance. So I've got, I've just randomly grabbed two different clips, right? And then say you need to edit these. Well, a lot of the time what happens is, is if I am in slip and I move this around 
over on top of the other track and then change my mind and move it away, I lose the underlying audio. This guy like eats it up. So it's not there anymore. And I, I then have to trim out or undo or whatever it's gonna be to get that audio back. So there's another option called layered editing. And that's this button right here, layered editing. And then what happens is you never lose the underlying clip. So I can now move this ride on top of this drum clip and it's there and you can see both edges of the drum clip. And if I then move it away, I don't lose the original. The original is still under it. You only hear the one that's on top. And then if I delete this guy, I should still see the clip that's under it still, right? So it, that only works with full clips. If you separate this clip, it will then kind of cut through both layers and you end up with nothing again. So just be aware that you need to actually edit the full clips and I can take this guy, move it around. Cool, so that's layered editing. And you can even do three layers or four layers. So you can do multiple layers and try different things together until you kind of create something that works really well. So that's called layered editing and the button's right there. And that's about it for this one. All right, see you in the next one.